Hello, let's continue our Sudoku adventure with Amazon by Inferio. So we have standard Sudoku rules in every row, every column, and every 2 by 3 box. We're putting the digits 1 to 6 exactly once each. Uh, we also have standard arrows. So digits on an arrow sum to the value in the circle. So if this was, say, 1, 3, and uh, 3, we can repeat, uh, that would be too big. Uh, 1, 3, and 2, then that sums to 6, so we'd put a 6 here. And uh, we have anti-knight. So we've done this before, but just in case this is the first time you've seen it. Um, for every single cell in the grid, let's talk about this purple cell just as an example. You look at where a chess knight could capture. So a knight can move two in one direction and one in another direction. So here, 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 here. These eight cells, let's make them green. So a chess knight could move to any of the green cells in chess. And what this means is these two digits can't be the same, these can't be the same, these can't be the same, etc. Right? You can't repeat what it say there's a two here. You can't put a two in any of these cells. So that's the uh, that's all the rules. Um, definitely give the puzzle a try yourself. There's a link in the description, and I'm going to get started right now. Alright, so let's look at this long arrow first. Um, the minimum it could be is a one, two here, a one here, and a one here. So that adds to three, four, five. So this is five or six, which means there's one degree of freedom on here. So either of these ones could be one higher, but not both. And then the two could be a three, but we can't, we, we must use a one here. Because if we did two, three, that would add to five, and that would be two degrees of freedom, right? This can add to either three or four. Um, this one here, this could be one, oops, this could be one, two, and one, which adds to four. So this could be four, five, or six. So that's two degrees of freedom. So this could be one, two, and then this could be two higher, so three or four. Um, and then this could be two higher, so two or three. Um, I am noticing that these two cells do see each other by anti-knight. So actually, um, we know that one of these must be a one. Um, I don't think they have to be a one-two pair. In fact, they may not be a one-two pair. They're not two and two, though. So one of them is a one. Whichever one of them is a one or both, they both see this cell, this one through the column and this one through anti-knight. So this can't be a one, and that actually does remove a degree of freedom. This is at least two. So these can't be four, because if this was even one four adding to five, the two would make it seven. So this, yeah, this can't add to five. This, this can add to at most four, so this also must have a one on it. So that's interesting. Now, if this was a 2, that would remove 2 from both of these. These would both be 1, but that doesn't really affect things too much. Um, I guess another thing to notice is that these two cells, because they're not the same, they do add to at least 3. So if we wanted to, we could consider the sum of all of these cells. If we did that, the minimum here would be 3, 4, 5 plus 3 is 8, um, and then 10. And these two couldn't be the same. So 10 is interesting, because 11 is the max that these two can add to. So these add to 10 or 11. So I think that means that this can't be a 2. Because if this was a 2, is that true? If this was a 2, this would be a 3. So the sum would be 3, 4, 5, 6, and then 6 plus another 6, that's 12. These would both have to be 6. So yeah, that doesn't work. So we have our first digit. This is a 1. That sees here. That places this one and this one. That's very nice. Very cool idea, Inferio. I hope that was intended. Seems like it was. Uh, do we have something similar going on here? Yeah, if this was a 2, then now both of these are a 3. Oh, that's cool. And that's too big. That would be 7. So this can't be a 2 either. Another way to put that is one of these two is a 2. Um, they can't both be 3, and they both see this cell. It's the same thing we had before. So this is a 1 as well. Um, that adds to 3. Um, so yeah, this is 5 or 6 based on whether this is 2 or 3. This can't be 4 anymore, because these add to... Yeah, we, should, we could have removed 4 when we removed... Oh no, we couldn't have. Uh... Hold on, three, four, five. Yeah, this is minimum five now. Okay, so this is these add to eleven. Hmm. I wonder when that happened. <laughs> when I removed the one, I guess that used up the degree of one degree of freedom. 
Okay. Um, this two, three, and this five, six go over here. That's not that interesting. Okay, so do we have any other... Let's look at these two ones. Yeah, these two ones look down into this box, but this one also sees here by Knight's Move. So we can place a one here. These two ones look down, and this one sees... Ooh, wait, hold on. Where's the one go in this box? Oh, never mind. This one sees here. Yeah, that's fine. So we get a one here. Um, is that all the ones? That's all the ones. Now these can't both add to six, which means of these, at most one of them is a three. Right? So, like, if this one was a three, this would be a six. This would have to add to five. These both would be two. If one of these was a three, this would add to six. And the, the other one of these and this would be a two. So there's a two and at least two out of these three. Now, is that interesting? Um, it feels interesting, but I'm not entirely sure what to do with it. Can they, can they all be two? Maybe there's a restriction on them all being two. They can't all be two either, because then these would both be five. So one of these is a three. Please tell me that does something, because um, that would be cool. One of these is a three. Exactly one of these is a three. Feels feels important. Are we restricted um, on which one can be? This goes in one of these two. If these are the same, if these are both twos, then the two has to go here. Interesting. And then here as well. Because they if these are the same, they look in, and this sees here by knight's move. So it would go here. And then this would have to be the three. So the two would go here. I mean, this all works, but it's interesting. And it would go here. Oh, actually, that's broken. Huh. Hold on, where would it go? Okay, so let, let's think about this. If these are both twos... So let's, let's make these green. Let's say these are both the same. So I'm just going to go over that again. Uh, green in this box pretty obviously goes here. And then we look, the, both of these look up, and then this one sees here by ninth move, so green goes here. Ah, and that's actually, that's actually easier to see now, because now we need green up here somewhere, which makes this green, which means they all have to be the same, which means they all have to be twos, and this would be three, four, five, and then this would be... Um, also five, and now these two are the same. So that doesn't work. So these two can't be the same. So surprisingly, what that means is these two aren't the same, which means one of them's a three, which means this one's the two, and that adds to five. This adds to six. And this is a two-three pair. That was unexpected, but cool. This is a two-five pair. We can fill this triple uh, three, four, and six, and this is three, four, and six. That's not a six, obviously. Uh, this six also sees here, so the six goes here. This six sees here. That's not a six. Um, so there's a six and the two three over here. This two three along with the six. Um, I guess that means we need a five, and this five sees both of these. So this is a five. We need a five down here. It's in one of these two. Okay, yep. Yeah. So this five can't go here, so it's in one of these two. They both see this cell by knight's move, so no matter where the 5 goes, this can't be a 5. So this is 2 and 5. That places this 5. Knight's move is so powerful, um, but fun. Um, this is uh, the other 2, 3, along with a 4. So that's not a 2 because of the 2 in the column. So we have a 3, 4 pair here. Um, so this is also a pair. This is 5, 6. Does this 2-3 pair help anything? Um, not that I can tell. We just have to remember that they're different. Mm, okay, so this is a triple. Let's just fill it. We need 2, 3, and 4. There must be something to see here. Um... How about this triple, two, three, and four also? 
How are we resolving the two three fours? This is a three four pair, so this is five six. This is two three four. Okay, so what are we doing to resolve all these two three fours? Um. Oh, I see it here. So again, these are these are a two three pair, and they both see this cell. This by the row. This by knight's move. So this can't be a two or a three. This is a four. Very nice. And hopefully that that does everything. Um. Very cool. Yeah. This was definitely on the harder side, but um, it was very fun, and I love the demonstration of how um how powerful knight's move is. Now I'm probably just missing a knight's move somewhere to resolve this. This five gives us the six and five and six and five. And what's the knight's move for this one? This four here gives us three and four and three and four. All right, and solution is correct. Very nice. Well, that was really cool in Furio, and I like how this ended up the five and not the six. The longer one was smaller. That's really cool. Um, I like the use of this and this being knight's moves apart. So, and that, that did, that did a lot. So very cool, Inferio. Enjoyed the puzzle. And if you enjoyed this, then why not leave a like, subscribe, and a kind comment below.